Hello, this is Jesse from NAPCO Tech Support. Today I'm going to explain the permitted test timer range for your Starlink radio. We are asking that all Starlink dealers adhere to this time range when programming panel generated test timers to ensure your accounts and those of all Starlink dealers report in a timely manner. The range is shown on the General tab in the NAPCO NOC, also known as the Starlink Radio Management Center, and will vary from each for each individual radio. It's highlighted in red under radio information. For accounts with two telco lines connected to the Starlink radio, we recommend that the primary telco line is test timer is set to the beginning of the range and that the secondary is set towards the end of the range. We are asking on all new control panel and Starlink installations that this time is followed immediately upon placing the account into service. In regards to your existing accounts, we are asking when servicing or performing inspection that the panel test timer is set within range. In the limited cases where a panel has been taken over and you do not have access to the panel program, we understand that the panel test timer may not be able to be adjusted. NAPCO and the community of Starlink dealers thank you for helping us to ensure we can continually deliver the best service possible to all. As always, for more information, please contact NAPCO Tech Support or visit us online at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching.